Let's move on to the strand transfer inhibitors. Now, what is a strand transfer inhibitor? So this is part of the nucleic acid synthesis uh, part, and you have to be able to transfer information from one strand of mRNA or RNA to the DNA of the host cell. Remember that um, viruses are interesting little uh, beings in that they actually change the DNA of the host cell. What makes HIV a bit unique is that which cells it's affecting because HIV will affect the very cells that are the soldiers of the body, the white blood cells. But other cells as well will affect your, your host DNA. So it's important to recognize that the nucleic acid synthesis part of it is going to be huge in terms of our targeting. Now, the integrase strand transfer inhibitors are a fairly large group of drugs, and it's important for you to know the group as a whole, not necessarily the names of individual drugs, for the USMLE Step 1 or the MCCQE. Now, we're often using these agents on treatment-naive patients. They are not metabolized by cytochrome P450, but they do undergo glucuronidation. If you've forgotten what glucuronidation is, go back to the pharmacology lectures uh, on pharmacokinetics and um, how we change medications to make them more amenable to activity in the body. We sometimes use this agent with rifampin. Now re remember that rifampin doesn't just induce the cytochrome system, but it also induces UDP glucuronal transferase. So we sometimes have to double the dose when we administer it in, in combination with rifampin. Now, this, uh, these drugs, they bind with integrase. Integrase is common to and essential to both HIV-1 and HIV-2 viruses. It inhibits the strand transfer and uh, the integration of the uh, RDNA into host cells is inhibited through this process.